Can you see the card? Good afternoon, boys and girls. It's Miss Glorious again, and welcome back to my virtual classroom. How are you today? Yeah, good? That's great. I'm doing great as well, and I'm so happy to be bringing the science experiment to you. Today, for our science experiment, we're going to changing, change things up a little bit. We are going to be talking about physical changes. So, physical science and changes have to do with energy, force, and motion. So, what I have here is I have a few objects that we're going to be testing. The first thing, which is the distance. How far will each of these objects go? And the second thing we're going to be testing is the speed of each object. How fast can each of these things go? And the third thing that we're going to be testing is the change in direction. I'm going to be testing those three things with just a blow. I'm going to simply blow all four of these objects and we're going to figure out each category. Which one can go the farthest, which one goes the fastest, and which one can I change the direction to. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna test with just one blow is which item goes the furthest? Which item goes the furthest? All right, here we go. Um, as you guys can see, the car is still on the table. The rocks are further behind, closer to me. So is the pom-pom, but the Q-tip completely left, completely went off the table. So I'm going to say for this one, which item went the farthest, I'm going to say my Q-tip. The Q-tip went the furthest, went just the blow. Now I'm going to bring my items back, and we're now going to test which one goes the fastest. Which one goes the fastest. Here we go. Ooh, that Q-tip was pretty fast. Hmm, a little tricky. Um, for this one, I would say the Q-tip again. It just, it took off completely. The car was somewhat fast as well, but I'm going to give this one to the Q-tip as well. So far, the Q-tip has won which one has went the furthest and which one has gone the fastest. And the last thing we're going to test for this science experiment is which item will change directions, will change directions. Let me bring my Q-tip back here. And here we go. The Q-tip. What do you think, guys? The Q-tip. Yeah, I think the Q-tip did it too. The pom-pom, I mean, the cotton ball did it as well. But again, the Q-tip seemed to win all three. It went the, the, far, the furthest. It had the most speed. It went really fast across the table. And it was able to change dire directions with just a quick book. I really hope you enjoyed this experiment. Families, as far as you can go, these were some items that I did have around my house. Um, and I just tried to do different variations. So a cotton ball, a toothpick, I mean Q-tip, little rocks, um, my son's toy car. You can use any objects that you want. I would recommend using no more than four. Um, again, making sure they have different weights. So you can test the energy, the force, 
and the speed of these items. And yeah, this simple fun science project was really great to do. Um, and the Q-tip, so what does that mean about the Q-tip? Does that mean that lighter objects have a better chance of changing direction or will go the, the furthest? Because what happened with the cotton ball? This was, this is a little heavier than this one. That's right, the, the cotton ball didn't go as far as the um, Q-tip did. So parents asking those type of opening questions will get your children thinking and experimenting and exploring more with these objects. And again, if you need any assistance, feel free to email me. Um, I can't wait to see your email if you have tried this project. Um, and yeah, just send me pictures. As always, it was nice doing this activity with you and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.